France's Directorate General of Armaments, DGA, has announced a breakthrough milestone in the development of remotely operated munition systems with the successful initial tests of Mutant, a cutting-edge weapon developed collaboratively by MBDA and Dallaire under the Defense Innovation Agency's aid, Lorini Initiative. Conducted at the Missile Testing Center in Biscaros, these trials mark a significant leap for France as it strives to close the gap in a domain now pivotal for modern warfare. Originally revealed in 2023, Mutant has evolved into two distinct variants named Acheron RCH-140 and the heavier Acheron RCH-170. This next-generation system excels in detecting, engaging, and neutralizing distant targets, both fixed and mobile, at ranges exceeding 50 km, with the RCH-170 extending this to 70 km. Designed with modularity in mind, Mutant combines Dallaire's deployable wing vector technology with MBDA's advanced military charge, inspired by the proven Acheron missile family. Its architecture allows tactical flexibility including the recovery of munitions if strikes are aborted, optimizing cost efficiency while ensuring precision and battlefield adaptability. The project's success demonstrates France's commitment to integrating remotely operated munitions into future combat frameworks, including the use of hybrid swarms that mix drones and munitions. MBDA emphasizes that Mutant maintains a human-in-the-loop control model, preserving operator oversight while delivering enhanced speed, maneuverability, endurance, and range. Simultaneously, a second consortium composed of KNDS, EOS Technology, and TRAAK is pursuing an alternative path centered on stealth and versatility. Their VTOL-based system, inspired by EOS gliders, supports both reconnaissance and pinpoint strikes using a unique kinetic warhead derived from anti-tank technology. This warhead projects a high-velocity metal core without direct target contact, increasing lethality while minimizing exposure. Notably, this consortium ensures full industrial autonomy by avoiding components restricted under U.S. ETAR or French export laws, bolstering France's strategic independence amid geopolitical tensions. Beyond these flagship projects, France's efforts in the loitering munition arena extend further. KNDS, together with Dallaire and EOS Technologies, has introduced the Matari's family, including four models with varied capabilities. Among them, the MV-25 Oscar, selected under the Calibri program, is already operational with Ukrainian forces after successful evaluations. The MX-10, with a 10-kilometer reach, is being delivered to the French army in quantities exceeding 460 units. Another model, the MV-100, based on the EOS Veloce 330 drone, achieves speeds up to 400 km per hour and ranges between 80 and 100 km, currently undergoing qualification testing. Thales has developed the Tatatis loitering munition, with its MK2 variant integrating AI-powered target recognition able to function effectively even when satellite signals are jammed. Additionally, MBDA offers the RD-120 Rygene under the diamond-shaped label by FlyR, capable of engaging targets within a 50 km radius. The Lorini program imposes a crucial cost ceiling of €200,000 per unit to ensure economic viability for mass production, aligning with the French land forces requirement for over 1,800 units in the near future. Should forthcoming demonstrations through 2026 confirm the promising capabilities demonstrated so far, France will secure a sovereign, credible alternative to dominant Israeli, Turkish, and American systems. Rooted in the realities of the Ukraine conflict, the Lorini Initiative also reflects France's long-term strategic vision, establishing remotely operated munitions as an indispensable pillar of future warfare, blending innovation, sovereignty, and adaptability to a rapidly evolving global security landscape.